try. So Curtis, your, your first time in a, a full-blown Wallabies camp, how have the last couple of weeks been for you? Yeah, it's been uh, quite enjoyable actually, just the, just the vibe that we've got in, in the camp has been uh, buzzing and everyone's been so welcoming to me and it feels like I've been here for you know a few, few months, let alone just a couple of weeks. So. I guess a lot of guys have talked about how hard it's been, um, how have you found the, the conditioning in the, the first couple of weeks? Yeah, it's been oh, mentally challenging. Like we've done a few things that I've never, ever seen before on a, on a rugby field, and um, it's been like rewarding at the same time. So, um, you know, as we put the, put the rugby and the conditioning together, hopefully, you know, that that um, helps us with, with with the games coming up. And a few familiar faces, I guess, around the camp with a, a lot of force guys. Has that helped you kind of transition in? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome having a few few force players around. It makes it a lot easier coming into camp because. Uh, Coming from different teams, you know, you, you know, you've got um, friends that you just there for you to help you out if you if you need and if you want to talk to somebody. So it's made it a lot easier for me um, coming into camp, having a lot of force boys around. And it could potentially be quite a big week for the club with the arbitration decision being handed down um, potentially in the next couple of days. Has that been on your mind at all? Yeah, that that, that has been um, on our on our minds uh, for the last I don't know hundred hundred days. So. Um, you know, we've we've learned to sort of just worry about it when it when it comes up, and we got a date about that um, about the about the situation that's going on, and uh, hopefully it's resolved in the next couple of days. And um, you know, if if um, you know if we get the result, everyone will be uh, very very happy. How difficult has it been for you, obviously not knowing where potentially you might be playing next year, or even what code you might be playing? Yeah, it's been uh, sort of frustrating with um, how how long it dragged on. Um, I think if the decision was made a lot easier, it would have made it a lot better for players, um, you know, contracting and everything else moving around and, and knowing where they're going to be next season. So, um, you know, it was just unfortunate it's been uh, dragged out for this long and, um, you know, we'll find out in the next couple of days um, uh, what's going to happen with us and, and the force. I guess you've played in a few pretty fierce rivalries in the NRL over the years. How do you reckon playing in a Bledisloe would compare? Yeah, that would be... Uh, be a bit of a crazy um, game to be honest. Uh, uh, obviously, um, you got my family from New Zealand, and you know, uh, me being in the Wallabies um, camp has been uh, quite interesting. But uh, um, I think it would be one of the biggest games of my career, um, or if not in my life, uh, if, I, if I got to play in a Bledisloe Cup game. Are they all pretty die-hard All Blacks fans? Yeah, I've <laughs> I've convinced a couple of them to switch over. So. Um, yeah, it's been it's been hard doing it, uh, talking to my dad, but uh, you know he understands and he, he said he'd support me 100% um, what I do, and and I, and I and I respect him for that.